When people think of the golden age of cinema, images of Hollywood and classic films usually come to mind. Here in New York City, the Museum of Modern Art will be presenting a survey of films from the third golden age of Philippine cinema. The Museum of Modern Art in New York City is one of the leading institutions of modern and contemporary art in the world. From June 1 through June 25th, the museum is showing an extensive film selection spanning contemporary Philippine cinema from 2000 to the present. The first golden age of Philippine cinema began in the 1950s, with the second golden age occurring from the 1970s to the early 1980s. Philippine cinema has been doing really, really well in the past like 15 years or so and um, I feel so excited by the diversity, by the vibrancy. Filmmakers are doing really original works and so this is really the perfect moment. Um, we are still in the middle of this movement and I don't know how much longer we'll go and uh, we really want to just take the opportunity to, to really introduce these films to the American people. I think on and off I have been working on this series for two to three years. I've been watching kind of intensively in the past years and um, talking to people and asking them for recommendations. I think people are really excited and um, you know what is really interesting is that uh, I think that this is a major film movement and yet people don't really know much about it, not only in the United States but um, around the world, outside of the Philippines. And um, one of the reasons is because the, the movement is so diverse, there are so many different ways, different takes on form, style, storytelling. And so it is very hard to describe what it is. Sometimes when you look at other major film movements such as like Italian New Realism, French New Wave, Taiwan New Cinema, there's a way to find common commonalities among the filmmakers and so you could talk about these movements as a whole. The Philippine films, they are just like all over the place. It's as if the filmmakers are not really in dialogue with one another, but I, I think they are, except that they are just really singular artists making their own voices heard. It is such a diverse movement that um, it's, it's really kind of all over the place, but at the same time, it's the, the real reason why it is so exciting and unique. What has been really remarkable is that a lot of the filmmakers actually have very little resources but they are able to make films uh, with very little. You know, I had this conversation with um, two filmmakers and they make films with very little money. And they told me that when you have very limited resources, it forces you to make decisions on what's important to me, what is the most important thing when I make this film, and I'm just going to make sure that happens. I can compromise on resources, on finances, but there are certain things that I just won't compromise. From New York City, I am Joanne Blanco Soriano, and I am one with 25. Hey guys, did you like what you just saw? Well, make sure you click on one of these videos to see more, and please also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll never miss any of our future features.